Welcome back, teens. This is week five of summer reading. Today is July 9th. Now, we've got a couple things to do, um, plan for today. So, our first one is, is our book. We'll read, um, talk about our book for the week. It's called The Jumbies by Tracy Baptiste. So, um, this is, um, it's a little sh um, short chapter book. It looks like it'd be a fun, cute book. This, this week's theme is magic. And this is what it's kind of based on as well. So we'll read the back of it and tell you what it's about. Corrine Lamere claims she isn't afraid of anything. Not scorpions, not the boys who tease her, and certainly not the jumbies. They're just tricksters made, by, up, made up by parents and frighten their children. Then one night, Corrine chases all went all the way into a forbidden forest and shining yellow eyes followed her to the edge of the tree. They couldn't belong to a jumpy, or could they? When Corrine spots a beautiful stranger at the market the very next day, she knows something extraordinary is about to happen. When this same beauty called Severine turns up at Corrine's house, danger is in the air. Severine plans plans to claim the entire island for the Jumbies. Crane must call on her courage and her friends and learn to use ancient magic she didn't know she possessed to stop Severine and to save her island home. So sounds like a mystery. So don't forget about your book for the week. I'll set that there now. A couple of things, what, um, we've got plan for these. First is our, we got another escape room. This one is Harry Potter Escape from Hogwarts. This one may be a little bit harder than the last one we've done, but I know you all can do it because y'all are great at this kind of stuff. So um, the link is here on your paper so you can type it in. If not, I will make sure and have it in the comments so you can just click on the link. Cause I know sometimes it's hard to, to type all that in and it gets mixed up and it won't go through. So um, I will post this in the comments below so you can click on the link. To, to do that, okay? So good luck escaping from Hogwarts. Um, a lot of people have uh, talked about this escape room. They really, really like it. So I think you all will too. So good luck and hope you all escape. Now, what we've got, another thing we've got to do, is our, that's our activity for the day, week. I was going, I did not send this home with you all. Um, it's just a little extra fun, but you can make ink. Uh, invisible ink. This is um, two recipes. All it calls for is you need to do lemon juice or milk, then you need a plate or a bowl, and then you need a cotton swab or a Q-tip. That's it, and paper. It can be cardstock, construction paper, index cards, regular paper, copy paper, either way. And all you gotta do is just put some milk in a bowl, just like this, and then um, just barely dab your Q-tip in the milk or lemon juice, whatever you have, and then write your message on your paper. It will dry. I've already done this message. So it's done dry, so I'm gonna put it to a, a light bulb after a while, and then I'll see what the message is. Um, but you can do this at home. Like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of paper you try. Now what you wanna do is that don't put, use too much. Just barely dab it in and run and write it, okay? Cause too much liquid, it won't work. And then after it completely dries, Make sure you kind of just put it close to a light bulb. Make sure it does not touch because we don't want to fire, but just barely put it to the light bulb and let it heat and then the color will turn brown. So, um, but that's the recipe for that. So all you gotta do is have milk or lemon juice, a bowl or a plate, a Q-tip or a cotton swab and paper, whatever kind of paper you have at home, construction paper, cardstock, regular, you know, anything like that. And that's all you need. So that's just an extra activity if you want to do it at home. Um, so for that. Now, your make and take um, for this week is a vintage journal. You should have each got a journal, just like this. Um, you can write anything you want in there. If you want to make it a daily journal to write, you know, what you did that day. Or you can write your favorite poems, favorite stories. Or you can write your favorite books, the ones that you've read or future books that you would like to read. If you find some online that you're wanting to read, like I make a list of ones you want. It's up to you, it's your journal. Now you should have got some stickers. 
um, in your packet as well. Something similar, if I can get my hand on it, to this. There should be some flyers, butterflies, and some other different little things. And then a roll of um, stick, sticky border to go across of it. And then you should have got a piece of um, ribbon and a key. Now there were different keys, so you probably didn't get one alike, but just up at the top, just take a small piece and then tie it around into a knot. I'm not gonna tie mine all the way, but, and then you're what, to put it in your book, and then just let it hang like that, and then at the bottom, the mine's a little bit long, so I'll have to cut mine off, put it right, right there. Yours should be long enough, um, but if it's a little bit longer than what you want, you can just cut it off, and that way it hangs from the bottom. And then you got your own little key bookmark, little vintage bookmark. So that is our activity the week. You can decorate it any way you want to. You can put them all on the outside. I've seen um, someone, um, well, I've seen pictures, they put them up like stickers on the bottom of it, on the inside. Um, and now if you're wanting more stickers, because I know I couldn't pass out enough because I only have a limited supply, but if you're wanting more of these, you can find them on Amazon. So if you want to decorate them more, um, stickers, you can decorate either way you want to. If you've got markers you want to write on it, you can. If you've got cricket at home, you can make letters out of, or pictures out of that. Any way you want to, it's yours. You can decorate it how you see fit. Now, please, I would love to see pictures of your journals once you get them done. So please post them in the comments below. Because like um, the others before, I would love to see pictures of you all doing your activities, okay? It kind of helps us see, you know, the participation and I'd love to see you all enjoy your arts and crafts okay so for this week that is it and we will come back till next week so we will see you all then